All right, today we're going to be playing five gold league decks in Credit Blitz. I won't be showing you each deck before we start because I am going to be loading them up as I play them. Uh, but yeah, five different decks I got from the Gold League CNZ TV. I have picked generally decks that didn't look completely horrible, but they obviously all have tech units in them. Um, there's a couple in here that are kind of stinky, but yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're pretty bad, but they're not like they're not wildly unplayable. This is almost full camo deck. You're right. This is actually almost full camo deck. If only this guy had played shocks instead. Absolute nightmare. Also, the commander doesn't have a camo skin. Anyway, this is going to be the first deck we play. It is Credit Blitz, so it's, you know, who knows. <laughs> Credit Blitz is, is very soft event usually because there's only five matches. It means you can basically queue into anyone. But that also just means we might queue into someone decent randomly with one of our horrible decks. You never know. How you doing? How you doing? Slug is not keen. Slug is not doing well today. Oh, here we go. Slug is reporting from the front. That's how Slug is doing. Yo, could you come back? I'm trying to kill your dogs. Stop running away from me. No pain, no gain. What's in here? Talon, no orca. Garbage deck. Probably shouldn't have switched into this pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> Insta punish. It's all right. We'll uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe. Maybe I can just block him. No, that's not gonna work out. I'll get a talent over here, I guess. Oh, that's surprising. He moved off the pad. I could win the missile here. Like I could have won the missile there. I didn't, but I could have. <laughs> I moved off the pad as well because I assumed that he was not going to... I didn't think he was going to stick around. If I'd known he was going to stick around, I would have stayed there. Alright, now we lose the missile. Feels bad, man. Um, yeah, I could have probably won that missile if I'd realised he was going to bail and give me the chance to charge it. I don't really have a way to kill shocks, so that's a slight issue. What's in here? Wolverine. Alright, Wolverine's probably my best bet. I think we're probably best off continuing to fight with, like, Pitbull... Uh, just trying to ignore the shocks as much as possible and then save up for a Wolverine on one harvester. I don't think going two halves is going to be a good play here. And I'm so broke. Not looking good for us, i got to say. Even if we get this Wolverine going, we've got to then march into Pitbulls with it and the game's almost over. And he's got an orca or a nightmare. I mean, we can beat an orca with a wolverine, that's fine. Ah, shit. Sad. Alright, GG. Didn't manage to get the block in time. The rifles even have skins. No, there is no rifle skin. Our base has been destroyed. Three, two, one. You've made Tib League, do I think you would win? Against one of these decks, maybe. Like, if you're playing a proper deck and I'm playing this deck, then yeah, maybe. All you really have to do is make one of the units that my deck can't deal with, right? Like, I had no answer to shocks in that deck, so you just make a couple of shocks, I can't win. A lot of rivals does, like, I mean, a lot of rivals does come down to your deck because if you don't have any options, there's nothing you can do. Like, if your deck cannot beat X unit and they make X unit, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, right? Like, you can't, there's no way to outplay someone such that you can suddenly beat shock troopers with riflemen. <laughs> you just, you can never ever win. That's the way it goes. That's just how rivals functions. There's quite a lot of rivals, it does come down to deck, deck choice. I mean, you guys who've watched my videos have seen me pull out some pretty ridiculous wins, but the fact is that if you have a clue what you're doing and you have a unit I can't beat, what am I supposed to do? There is just no, there's no, no realistic chance. This deck does have JJ and Grenadier. Yep, good, well noticed. <laughs> Why is my opponent has just made three MGs and has not made any attempts to get onto any of the pads yet? 
He's gonna let him have this one. He's got three MGs and a dog there. I don't think he can even make another unit. I think he's pop capped. I think the game is in fact already over. See, like this guy I could beat with any deck because I didn't need to. I literally, neither of our, no one's units have fought yet. He has not engaged my units at all. You got it, champ. He literally, like, that's the first units that died this game. There's a bloodless loss for him. He didn't lose a single, he didn't lose a single unit in that game. I couldn't beat any infantry. I had dog APC as my anti-infantry. But my opponent didn't attack me, so it didn't matter. Establishing battlefield control. Omer Taji. That's going to be a tough matchup. Let me just look at my deck. I've got Flamers, and I've got Tick Tank, and I've got Banshee, so actually I might be okay. Like, I've got two tech units, but one of them's Flame Tank, which is quite good, and my other four cards are okay. Like, I can probably beat most units with these four units. So it's not just like an auto loss. It depends what he has. I mean, like Razorback looks like it'll be pretty tough. Although, not really that tough, right? I mean... Most decks, like a not aggro, would have the same tools of Flamer, Bike, Banshee against, uh, against a Razorback deck. We can beat Rhino because we have Tank. Where's my flamer going? Jump jets. Sorry, jump jets are annoying. Yeah, the fact that Tick Tank can beat the missiles is kind of gross. All right, I think we win first missile here. Maybe close, not quite yet. This should be it. No, here come the jump jets and four. All right, now we win first missile. Hoggers. I'll see if I can make a tech unit at some point. I'm not like super hyped about it. I definitely don't want to go to uh, thingies. I don't want to go uh, to Harvester. Oh, I see. We're pop capping now. Okay. Fair enough. Cool game, my guy. Never has he earned the nickname Comet Hodger more than this specific game. That's one for the propaganda reel. Nice pop capping though, Comet Todger. Alright, now we've got an absolute corker. MG Shock. 
Talon Orca, Disruptor Sandstorm. Because when you have MG Shock Talon in your deck, the main tech unit you really need is a Disruptor. It's just baffling, man. Like, how do you... How do you come to the conclusion that you want your deck to have, like, five anti-infantry units in it? I can't even... There's nothing I can do about these dogs, either. Like, this MG is just running away. What am I supposed to do about them? I have no anti-vehicle units. I have to wait till Orca. This deck is so horrible. People build these decks. Like, this, this is real life. People build these decks and then play them in actual games of Command & Conquer Rivals. Like, there is no... There's no irony, either. Like, some guy chose to play... This is the deck he chose to play. Like, he sat down and built a deck and then was like, this, these are the units I want in my deck. Five anti-infantry units. I guess four. Fortunately, going double harvester is like catnip to players. Like, they cannot help themselves. You make two harvesters, they stop charging the missile immediately. Oh shit, an APC. I take it back, I'm screwed. <laughs> Alright, let's crack the APC. And two slingshots. What a fucking mad lad. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> it's not like I have any units I can make that are relevant. I can move this Orca over, actually. I need to get a... I need to get a Sandstorm, I suppose. Let's go with Sandstorm. Can we do it? No! We didn't quite get there. We got blocked out. Sad. I don't think my Sandstorm's even going to survive. Oh, it did survive. Nice. Huge. Oh my god, it traded? Wow, oh, Sandstorm is so bad, bro. <laughs> Sandstorm is such a terrible unit. That's a bold choice to go Drone Swarm against Sandstorm. Like, that is a, that is a really interesting choice of unit. I actually can't lose my Harvester here because it'll let him Iron Cannon me. This is such a beating, man. My tech units can't even beat MLRS. Like, MLRS is, is an actual nightmare for me. Alright, well. Uh, I'm dead, I think? It looks really bad. Because I have to start harvesting in range of his MLRS now. Yeah, I'm I'm screwed. I'm, I'm done. That's it. I can't win. I can't beat I can't beat MLRS because my sandstorms don't win. <laughs> All right, cool, cool game. Yeah, that's we will we lose. <laughs> uh, I am playing gold lead deck parry. Yeah, Orca. Yeah, Orca worked out really nicely. Orca's very bad against Slingshot. You put a Slingshot with something in front of it, Orca doesn't beat it. That's why I started with making Orcas, and then when I was getting destroyed, I switched to tech units. Alright, final deck. This one's actually not terrible. Rifle, missile, bike, buggy, and then a couple of tech units. Battler's Confessor is also a reasonable component. That's a reasonable, like, combo of tech units. So this, uh, this one's probably the best of the bunch. Opponents higher quality than average. I think that last guy was not very good. Like, no offense or anything. Like, he just made MLRSs and pushed them forwards. We didn't even block for them that well. But, like, my deck just couldn't beat that. I didn't have, I didn't have infantry that could attack an MLRS, so... And my tech units didn't beat MLRS, so I literally just had nothing. 
This is, what I'm, this is what I was saying earlier, like, if your deck cannot beat something, it doesn't really matter if you play well. If, you, if your opponent has a unit you cannot beat, it doesn't matter how well you play, because you simply cannot beat the unit they have. And that's kind of what we've seen a few times here. Like, I just can't beat their units. It doesn't matter how I play the game. My deck is, just doesn't have a unit that beats their unit. So, without some kind of tool... If, the, even, like, if it was a better map, I could have maybe snuck around and gone for a base kill with the Sandstorms. But not on that map. Like, there was just no way. So yeah, like, sometimes you just can't win. Sometimes it doesn't matter how you play the game. Like, if you don't have the right tools in your deck, then it is impossible to win, no matter what you do. This deck, I suspect, will... I mean, this is a very good deck, I'd say. Well, not very good. Like, compared for a Gold League deck, Compared to the quality of the previous Gold League decks that we played today, this one is the best by a lot. Alright, let's get our Basque Confessor going. Maybe we go double half here? Yeah, I think we go double half. It's a very aggressive Seth. I don't really know the point of that Seth there. So many bikes, man. Alright, Basky Confessor, let's go. It's over, boys. You can't lose with Basky Confessor. I actually think Confessor is, like, very poorly positioned tech unit right now. Like, Buggy and Rhino are the most popular they've ever been. That's a 30-cost non-tech unit that beats your tech unit. It's, like, pretty horrible to play Basilisk and Confessor at the moment. over here flamers i actually don't think i'll beat those yeah definitely not with a the buggy there man confessor really is horrible at the moment like it's just one of the worst tech units in the game right now i mean it should lose i'm not saying like it should beat buggy or anything because it is a it is a multi-role unit if it could also beat buggy it would kill everything in the game right like it'd be tri triple roll the anti-air vehicle infantry but when people are playing a cheap anti-infantry option like a cheap, a cheap vehicle based anti-infantry you really don't want to be playing an expensive anti-infantry infantry tech unit go on shred that shred that banshee i've made so many tech units and they're basically just losing to flamers and buggies it's a sad state of affairs for the uh for the tech units of today definitely not as overwhelming as they used to be That's probably a good thing, actually. Like, it's sad for them, but it's good for the game. Because <laughs> it was stupid. It was stupid how you just couldn't win once people made tech units. Alright, we got there. Let's go. <laughs> so dumb. The buff from Confess is so OP. I've actually very infrequently seen anyone make use of the buff from Confessor. It's like, I've never seen someone actually effectively use the buff from Confessor. All right, there we go. Gold League decks. Uh, some of them were suboptimal, I would say. Perhaps not the best, but we did beat that Pop Kappa Komataji. Um, and that was fun because this guy Pop Capped us a bunch and still lost because uh, he's terrible. So that was that was a good time. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.